Welcome to Devlog 2. As you can see, a lot has changed since the last Devlog. Um, the last time we talked, I just was showing you the assets I was thinking about using, and not only have I used those assets, but I've also used uh, quite a bit more. So the platform controller uh, and uh, the Kecko Kids, as you can see already, I'm, I'm already made my character. Uh, but anyway, uh, the platform controller comes with a lot of this already. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the features that the platform controller came with first, and then I'll show you the features I added. It has things like these uh, hidden coins, and then there's also the uh, boxes that have uh, uh, things in them like free men and uh, power-ups. And then there's these uh, logs so that you can test the whole, um, you know, the, the Mario butt slam. The controller also comes with the ability to swim, comes with this uh, platform which is kind of cool. It's kind of a puzzle platform. You have to know where the thing is going to be. These are checkpoints. So if you actually click on these, I'm not going to click on it right now, but it'll save your spot. So when you come back to this level, you'll be in the same location. Uh, you can't hear it right now, but when you walk on each one of these types of materials, footstep sounds will change. Uh, this one slows you down. By the way, all this stuff comes with the uh, uh, with the controller and then also the different type of coin with more coins. It also comes with this uh, air so that you can reach higher locations. And then it also comes with these moving platforms that take you to other hidden treasures. It comes with this backflip, which is a very famous Mario thing where you basically you can jump higher uh, than you would with a normal double jump. Uh, you're, you're able to climb and you can even scoot. Um, the platforms itself, when you land on them, your character will automatically adjust so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't seem awkward. And also a jump spin attack. Uh, and a land spin attack. It also comes with a menu, so you can actually click these stars so you can get to each one of the levels. You can do the Mario wall jump here. And then there you go, there's a red coin. Uh, it has bounce pads, boing. Um, it's got the poles, just like Mario has. More coins, some hearts. It also has these boxes with coins in it, life and uh, more coins and then also hearts. This is, uh, you step on this pad to finish the level and then this will uh, save all of your information so that you can do speed runs or whatever you wanna do. This button right here will turn off a trap. And then what you do is you just pick up a box, take it over here, put it on there and boom, shuts, you, shuts off the trap. Same thing for flames and then uh, this one I added, I won't explain that one just yet. These boxes come with the kit. So basically these are the boxes that fall out from underneath you so you can't stay on them for very long. Um, but they do come back. They do come back after a short amount of time. That's basically it that comes with the kit itself. Oh, you can crouch and you can crawl, which I think is a really cool feature. And then, of course, if you crouch and you hit the jump button, you do the big double spin. Yeah, this is a really great controller from a great uh, developer by the name of Player2. It's called the Platform Project. Now, let's see what I added to this project. Uh, for one, it's uh, Mario's, right? It's Mario controller, so we have to have a speed pad. So what this one does is speed you up so you run really, really fast. Simple, simple, simple. I added this like spinning fire thing so that I can put it on, make the level a little bit more difficult in certain areas. I also added this vortex. Um, so it's not like a normal fan. This one will suck you in. So if I get close enough, see, suck me in and then throw me up there. The only way you can get out is to hold the turbo. You can use boxes as weapons and hit the enemies with them, or you can just break them if you want. This is something I added here. I would like to welcome you to my channel. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, <laughs> it's cheesy. Anyways, uh, what's kind of cool though is like these are the kind of things I'm thinking about throwing in the level and then you can use these as weapons as well. So, you know, I, I don't know. Or you can put the letters in the right place so you can or answer puzzles or something like that. I haven't really decided yet. You can throw, throw the boxes in the water and they will float. So if I take this and I throw it in the water, it'll float. Cool, right? Uh, some really cool things that I added, uh, and I needed help from the developer to do this because I couldn't get the cameras right. My character kept showing up in uh, facing the wrong direction, is these portals. So if you enter a portal, it exits the exact same way where it's at. So this is where I came from. You see, I used to be up there. I'm all the way down here. And you can enter from either side. It doesn't matter. And you'll, you'll automatically come out the correct direction wherever you were. And if you can see here, the portal I just left is way down there. The cool thing is, is if you do die, it's a very much like Mario. So you have, I have five lives over there because I was collecting stuff so let's jump off you only fall for a little bit and then you zoom off the screen and then next thing you know you wake up to wherever you started the scene at I made this bridge with a cool uh, uh, asset which I'll have in the description it allows me to draw any shape I want and then it will turn it into an actual physical asset that I can use in the game so this way I can have originally designed assets like the bridge or you know the letters or like this pillar if you notice it has my logo on it I didn't actually create this so that the logo would fit the model but what I did instead is I actually created a model 
out of the logo itself using the software. If I do a, a butt crash on there, see it works just like the other one, but it's actually a completely separate model created by um, this really cool software. The snow is created by a, a snow shader that, uh, called Brute Snow and Ice. I really like it. I think it looks really legit. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. The letters is because my plan was you have to use the letters with the numbers on it and jump on the right ones to answer the questions in the quests. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna have dialogue and quests also. Um, I'll go more into that on the next one. Um, but Dialogue and Quest is uh, produced by a developer by the name of uh, Mark Indy, and uh, he creates some great stuff. And uh, and yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about that more next time. I will figure it out. Maybe you can give me some ideas of what you think should be done with that. To give you an idea of where I want to go with this, um, I, I want to design something that educates as well as kind of, is also kind of a speed run. So basically, um, they will go through the levels and they will run. They will you know they'll have to do the normal stuff, uh, platformer stuff, but they'll run into people that will ask them questions that they have to answer correctly to move on. If they don't answer correctly, then, you know, they might get themselves killed and have to start back over. But if you notice, there's a timer at the top of this. So it's always keeping track of the time. And if you're going to win a speed run, right, you got to get the best time. Speaking of that, I just noticed that we're at 11 minutes and I don't want to keep you guys for too long. So in the next devlog, we're going to look at enemies. I, I have some really cool ones picked out. They're all from the uh, Unity Asset Store. I'll have links to all those as well. Uh, and then uh, thank you very much for the comments. Um, uh, I was really surprised to see the developer for Kekos in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by. And then also the comments about the type of game itself. Don't make it too dark. And I completely agree. I want to make something that's family and I want to make something that's educational, but I also want it to be kind of a speed run with a little bit of rage. <laughs> not rage, not bad rage, you know, just, just like enough to where to get you a little frustrated to where you want to and you need to be able to beat the best time. And also I'm going to add a feature to where you can enter your name so that you can actually, you know, show your speed run and, uh, and take credit for it. Other than that, if you have any other ideas, let me know. I'll have the links to all the assets that I used in this uh, devlog. And I also will have, uh, you know, another devlog going up very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.